Looking for a healthy meal to make with all those leftover vegetables and rice you have already in your refrigerator? Well, I've got just the thing. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we show you just how easy it is to make healthy recipes that are full of flavor and nutrition. Today, we're going to be making black bean burgers. Begin by taking your two cans of black beans that have been drained and spreading them into a single layer onto your baking sheet. And then you're going to want to bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And the reason we're going to do that is just to dry out our beans a little bit so that they don't get too mushy in our recipe. While your beans are baking in the oven, let's make our chia egg. Take two tablespoons of chia seed and to it, add one third cup of filtered water. Stir it up and then let it sit. So you just need to set it aside and it will thicken all on its own. Next, in your skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of olive oil. Once you've heated this up for just about a minute, add in one half of a chopped up white or yellow onion. That is about one cup. And add in five chopped up garlic cloves. Now garlic is excellent for your immune system. Next, add in two cups of your favorite chopped up vegetables. Now this is such a good way to get rid of any leftovers in the refrigerator or just really whatever you have already on hand. I have one half of a cup of broccoli, one half of a cup of chopped up bell pepper, and I also have one cup of shredded carrots. Saute up your ingredients for just a couple of minutes until it starts to smell wonderful. And this is really going to bring out the flavor in our black bean burgers. Okay, you can really cook your vegetables as long as you want to. It just really depends on your taste. So once they're finished, go ahead and remove them from the heat and then let them cool for just a few minutes before we add them to the food processor. Okay, my vegetables have cooled off just a bit. Go ahead and add them into your food processor. They smell really good and they're beautiful, beautiful colors. This is where you can get really creative with the vegetables that you use and they can bring such different wonderful flavors too so that your bean burgers don't always have to taste the same. I tell you, almost every time I go and make one of my recipes, I don't think they ever, I've ever made two that taste exactly the same, but that's the fun of it, right? You get to be really creative and just play with the different tastes and different textures, all while providing wonderful nutrition and health to your body. Next, add in your chia egg that should be nice and thick by now. Look at that. That's exactly what you want. And now let's add in some delicious spices. First, I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder. Next, one half teaspoon of cumin. And one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now, if you've never cooked with this before, you are in for such a treat. It's got such a distinct flavor. Three quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt and then some freshly ground black pepper, just to taste. Last, if you're not vegan, but want to add in the benefits of collagen's powder, like me, add in one scoop of our Organics Clean Source Collagen's Powder that is now using this more sustainable, flexible packaging. Place your lid on and pulse up all of your ingredients until it's mixed up well. Just be careful not to do it too much. You don't want to turn it into mush. Empty your mixed up vegetables into a large mixing bowl. Your black beans should be cooked and cooled by now. Add them into your food processor along with one cup of either cooked rice, gluten-free breadcrumbs, or almond flour would work. 
I had some leftover rice, so that's what I'm going to use. Pulse up your black beans and rice, just until your black beans are the size that you prefer in your burgers. Adding your black beans and rice into your mixing bowl. Now we're ready to mix everything up together. I may just be using my hands here in just a minute. This looks so good. Now we're ready to form our burgers. I'm going to be using one third cup to measure them out just so that they're about the same size and then using your hands, form them the size that you like them and then I'm just going to place it on a piece of wax paper until I'm ready to cook them. This recipe makes about 11 burgers. Now whether you want to eat them now or save them for later, I highly recommend baking them in your oven at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. Why? Because it's going to firm up your burgers a little bit more and get rid of some of the moisture so that they're easier to handle. And then after you bake them, you can stick them in the refrigerator and save them for later, or you could put them on the grill for a little bit of extra flavor. You could also cook them in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil, or just eat them right out of the oven. They are really delicious. I can't wait to try them, so I'm going to put them in the oven now. Let's give these black bean burgers a try. Now I'm serving mine with some sauerkraut, avocado, tomato, but you can get so creative with this. You could serve them on a bed of lettuce or maybe your favorite gluten-free bun. Really, it's completely up to you. So let's give it a try. I think they are absolutely delicious. And what I love about them is you can really Use whatever you already have in your kitchen, whatever leftover vegetables you have, or maybe some vegetables that are about to go bad. Use them up in, in these burgers, and then you can serve them so many different ways and really alter the flavor of them. Give these ones a try. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Thanks for joining me today. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up. And I'm here every week with a new recipe, so subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any. I'll see you next week in the kitchen.